to check the water pump bearing I'm going to loosen off the fan belt by loosening off the uh, the bolt holding the generator there and then I'll be able to jiggle the fan around and see if I can feel any looseness in the bearing I can't feel any looseness in the bearing, so I think it's okay. So here we are again with our problem nut, which is in a very tight space. You can't get a, a ring spanner on it. So uh, thank you to everyone that gave gave advice. I've gone out and bought a tube spanner set. Obviously these are these are too long to get get in between the uh, inlet manifold and the nut so what I've done is pick the appropriate size and I've cut the end off as you can see there and drilled another hole in it so that fits in quite nicely There we go, I've got the socket on the nut. Now I just have to insert the uh, lever. And I've already loosened it off a bit. It comes off quite nicely, it's already quite loose. So we've removed all the nuts and clamps. I've checked the uh, parts catalogue to make sure I've got everything. And it seems to say I have. Now it's time to uh, Try and get the uh, inlet and exhaust manifold off. Managed to get the manifolds loose by leveraging off that nut just there. Sorry, the stud and the. Uh, I think I'm still firmly, firmly attached to the exhaust pipe. I'll see if I can lever it up a bit, lever the exhaust pipe down a bit. A bit of jiggling around and it's uh, it's almost off. It also seems to have loosened off the uh, screw which I was able to on the inlet um, drain pipe so I've been able to unscrew that. This one here. So it should be just a matter of pulling the manifold off completely with some carburetor. Uh, success, we've got the head, the uh, manifolds off. Just catching a bit of petrol in the glass jar there. seem to have some sort of insert. I'm not sure if that's normal or the head's been worked on before. I'll check the manual. <laughs> 